Fanchest started in 2015. Uh, my co-founder Dan and I were just thinking about um, this whole new box economy and the fact that everybody wanted curation and convenience in their lives, whether it was beauty or food or pets. Nothing existed in sports. We're massive sports fans, and so we decided to try it out. A couple of things that were really difficult at starting a D2C business right now is logistics is incredibly complex. That's something we underestimated. And then finding the talent you need for the roles is also a huge challenge, especially in New York. The advice I would give to other people trying to start a direct-to-consumer business in New York City is surround yourself with the best people you can. They can lead you in areas where you don't have expertise. At Fanchess, we try to find a balance between performance and branding. At the outset, performance is incredibly important because we're data-driven and we want to see conversions very early on. Over the longer term, brand is incredibly important because that helps us build our organic reach and that's what's going to keep customers coming back for more. And so we try to think about those two things and how they interact. I think one interesting thing that we found was we originally built this business for ourselves as being hardcore sports fans, but actually the majority of our customers were females buying as gifts for people like ourselves. And so therefore we switched a lot of our focus away from things like Sports Illustrated going to things like The Skim. We're going to continue to grow, we're going to continue to service these fans, and you know, I think that the world's limitless for us.